What's up, guys? It's April 24th, 2024. Sideways day in the markets. We had a bull trend, and then it looked like it pulled back into the EMA. Um, I didn't trade today. I did think we would see higher prices, but this actually looks kind of bad. The end of the day looks kind of bad for the bulls. Something they definitely don't want to see. In a bull trend, you don't want to see bar 80 for sure. I got soap in my eyes. I got hot coffee too. Okay. Yesterday we had a bull trend. I'm going to go bar by bar analysis. I'm going to do a bar by bar analysis and talk about where sellers and buyers are. And in between all that, we'll bring up leg one, leg two, and the market set. Gap up, bar one, bad follow through. It's a range bar. Yesterday, every time a new high was made, we sold off. So following that pattern, I think we could sell off after we make a new high. Make a new high, and we sell off into the EMA. Bar one is a so bar one, bear bar gap up. Range, it's a doji, not good. It's a range bar. Bar two is breaking out of bar one's range. Bar three is bad follow through. Bar four looks like it could start to be the shape of a pool flag. However, the horns get put in with bar five. This is a failed breakout by the bulls. This is a failed breakout by the bulls. Even that wick is an, a, an attempt to it's an attempt to go higher, but it, it ultimately sold off and reversed back up. So we have three we have three pushes. One, two, three. We are at trading around yesterday's high. This is level here. So three pushes in, up, around resistance and the market sells off into the EMA. This creates a double bottom on the EMA, which is a bullish price action pattern. We are in a bull trend at the double bottom, so that's pretty good. Bulls buy, bar seven, no follow through for the pairs. They can get trapped to whoever went short down here. Whoever shorted the low ticket six is in pain. Bar eight, vacuums up to test the morning range, which is right here. I just marked it out. And bar nine tells off. When bar eight tests the high, it's a range bound environment, right? So we gotta do the opposite. Bulls are buying nice bear bars, bears are shorting nice bull bars. So the market is range bound until we break out. Bar nine is a reversal, and if it actually breaks the low of bar eight, I think bar nine is better than bar six too because of the shade bottom. It would be nice if it kind of breached all these, but that might be too big. It might be that might get too climactic. Bar 10, all through below the EMA, good for nine, good for the bears, bad for the bulls. Bar nine looks like a pullback. Bar nine could also be seen like a wedge right here. Excuse me, I said bar nine, I'm going to say bar 11. So bar 11, kind of, this kind of looks like a wedge, but it fails. Bulls try and go long and it fails here and reverses with bar 12. And that gives this, this, since it failed, that makes bar 11 a pullback for the bears. Big one, pullback like two. Bar 13, good follow through. Bar 14, I think, is one of the nicest looking bars on this chart because it is a breakout, pullback, shave bottom, pull coming off the EMA, breaking below the last four bars here. So I think that's a nice breakout bar. Bar 15 is good follow through. Well, it'd be good to follow through if it closed on its lows. But it is followed through with a bear body. Bears tested the tried to test the midpoint. The bar 15 high is testing bar 13 is low. Bar 16, where it sells off or reverses, becomes another pullback. And bar 17, it sells off. So now we have a bear flag or higher right here. Bar, bar, bar 18, follow through for the bears, but no body. That's not the best type of follow through, they definitely want to see the body closing on its lows, but it's also not a bull body, so it's the minimum the bears need to keep keep the trend going. Bar 18, bar 19 is a strong sell, it's an outside bar, it went above bar 18 and then closed below bar 18, so that's an outside bar at lows, it looks like it's breaking below the past, again bar 19 is breaking below the past 4 bars and it's breaking below the past range right here. So that's good for the bears again. They're getting multiple breakouts. Bar 19 is this. <laughs> bar 21 is this one. Bar, I don't know, I'm talking about bar 20. This follow through for bar 19. 
you can see how it kind of kind of expands, contracts, expands, expand, contract, expand, contract, uh, contract, expand, expand, contract, expand, expand, contract, expand, contract. Now it's expanding. So the market's moving. Contraction and expansion. Expansion, contraction. So it's moving in a pattern here. Every time they make a new low, it kind of contracts a little bit. Bar 22 is pretty good problems with bears. It's a, it's a channel. So you should only be looking to sell, really. Buying is, you lose money buying. Bar 24 is the first pull, strong low bar. Excuse me. Oh, mm -hmm. I woke up a couple of hours ago. I'm doing this one in the morning. I like them. I like it in the morning, but sometimes it just doesn't line up. Bar 24, strong bull bar. It's big. Uh, bulls got one to one, I think, right? Yeah, bulls got one to one on that. That's pretty good. Bar 19. What the hell? I was looking at the bar 19 over here. So bar 24, bar 25 is one to one. First pull back into the EMA. Bears want to keep the gap open. Bar 18's high is right here. Bulls fail to break above the EMA. Bar 26 is a good. Looks like bears are getting the reversal and bar 27 back down to a new low. Actually gives the market three legs. Leg one, pull back leg two, pull back leg three, or leg one, pull back leg two, pull back leg three, and it starts to go sideways. Bar 27, bad follow through for the bears at lows. Oh, excuse me, this is bar 27. Bar 28 is bad follow through for the bears at lows. Bar 29, looks like bulls are starting to buy the lows and the bars are starting to close the highs. Expansion, bar 30. Mark goes for a sell but immediately reverses. So just like over here, bulls are starting to buy bear bars, so we could be going more sideways. This is more overlap with breakout price action. Bar 33. Good follow through, but we're bouncing off the higher time from EMA, and that was the breakout spot yesterday. So they broke out above the EMA, and now we're retesting it. Excuse me. So where are we? Yeah, we are retesting the EMA here. Go for like one, pull back like two, sell off. Bar 37 looks like it could be we're getting late into the trend, and I think I would want to see more follow through with bar 38. I was going to get short for a breakout below the EMA. The market's already traveled a significant distance, and now we're starting to see bullish pressure, so it might, we might be going range bound. Remember, the market cycle is breakout, first bar equals channel, and then we go range bound, and then it breaks out again. So here is actually, I think we started to go range bound right here. A little more overlap than downwards pressure. So, where are we? Bar 41, good reversal bar. Double bottom on a higher time frame EMA, and the market starts to rip. This was a really nice rally. It was, the bars were uniform. So, breakout, pullback, and then just became an endless pullback. The bars are uniform. There are a lot of tails on the tops, but it would be better to see strong closes like that. However, it's a, it's a buy, it turned into a buy the close rally. You could buy any of these bars with a stop below and make a couple points. Buy a couple points, buy a couple points, buy a couple points. The rally went all the way and tested the breakdown level from this morning. Here. It's kind of like a double top now. Let's see. Bear flag double top. Bar 54, good bar below the breakdown point where bar 12 is. I think that's also a good short. And you can see bar 57, the market thought that was a good short. It raced down and made a leg up. So this is a leg one, pull back leg two move. And then the market makes a wedge bottom. Pull back leg two, pull back leg three. 57 is bad fall. 58 is bad fall through for bar 57. 58 is bad fall through for bar 57. Yes. And then bar 59 is starting to pull back. With this much bullish pressure, I thought there could be a second leg. But the overall context of the day is range bound, and we're trading at range highs, so this could be a breakout or backing test. Leg one, pull back leg two, second leg trap, possibly. Pull back into the EMA, sell off, pull back into the EMA, and sell off. That's three legs lower. 
And the bear bars are somewhat nice, but you can see that there's a bull gap above the higher time frame EMA. Bar 68, strong reversal bar. I know I'm skipping around because I still want to keep these uh, around 10 minutes and coming up to that mark. We actually just passed it. Bar 67, 68. Bar 68 is a good bull bar. I think this is a good, if it closed above the EMA, that would be even better. But bar 69 is showing the bulls are trying to break out above the EMA. Bar 70, market goes sideways, it's compression, and we break out with a bull flag with bar 71. Bar 72, we get some horns again with bar 76. So that's what I, when I say horns, I just mean these. Like the horns. So bar 72, the market just rally above yesterday's high and reverses down. And then bulls get trapped here. They start to buy the lows. They hit out as price goes back to the entry, and that creates a double top. That's the context for double tops, and then it breaks down, and we sell lower. Really bad looking bar for the bulls. I am trading this on. I am. I am doing this on the twenty fifth. So I'm gonna tab over to the next day, and we're gonna see the market spilling. So this is a. Um, this is today's price action. But we were talking about yesterday's price action, which is the twenty fourth. I've just been doing these in the morning instead of the day after. Daily chart looks like it's good for a second leg down, but this this bar these bars happen after a huge bull trend. So although it does look like it's good for a second leg down, it could possibly make a double bottom because we are still have months and months and months of bullish pressure. I don't think I mean maybe the market just shoots down, but I think it'll be a little bit harder. I think the bulls might put a fight up. We'll see what happens when we get to the swing low. What day is that? So for so the nineteenth, so last week. Whoa. So I guess we could put this as a swing low, honestly. Because it is a swing low. Lock it. Lock it, pop it, drop it. Or make it super small so no one can see it. Perfect. <laughs> And is this the text is 12, 12. Oh, got that right. Save it. Locked in. Okay, so that's the swing low. That's the swing low for the bears on the daily chart. If they break below that, they could get a measured move of this range. Oop. Of this range. Be interesting to see what happens. We pull back into the EMA. I thought maybe we might have a deeper pullback with that. We got nice rallies on the 45 minute chart. Then we started to make lower highs, and now it's getting nasty. Be careful today, guys. I heard there's some news. I don't trade news per se. I have been in the markets when the news is being let out, but I it wasn't like a news play. I was I would be in the markets regardless of the news. <clears throat> so I hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys use your stop loss. Thank you for always watching my videos and leaving comments. It is really crazy to think. I've been doing this for almost a year now. So you see how it goes. Uh, I, the bar by bar analysis is a little bit more challenging than I thought, so bear with me. I'm gonna keep doing it because I can. It, it will add up over time. Hope you guys have a good day. Please use your stop loss. Thank you for the support. I drop the videos every day at 3 p.m. Hit the follow button or don't hit the follow button. Tell me what you guys are up to. Have a good one, guys.